case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit was tasked with unraveling a complex patent dispute involving a clam harvester, its inventor named Gilbert Franklin, and his employer, Guilford Packing Company, in 1983. The case started when Franklin, an independent contractor for Guilford, modified a clam harvester and consequently secured a patent for this innovation. Though Guilford was granted a right to the invention under a principle known as a shop right, a leaseback arrangement with a third party, John Lohman, brought royalty payments into question. Normally, shop rights grant employers the permission to use an employee's invention if it was developed during work hours and with company resources. This means that Guilford should have been able to use and manufacture Franklin's innovative modification without any obligation to compensate him. And Franklin argued that Guilford should not have these rights, as he wasn't a traditional employee, but an independent contractor. However, things got murky when Guilford attempted a sale and leaseback arrangement with Lohman, effectively trying to transfer these exclusive rights to him. This move prompted the courts to determine not only the extent of Guilford's rights to the invention, but also whether Lohman would be liable for royalty payments to Franklin for using the modified harvester. In a surprising turn of events, the court ruled against Franklin's narrow view of shop rights, stating that such rights could stem from relationships outside of traditional employment. As such, Guilford was deemed to have a legal shop right to Franklin's invention, allowing them to manufacture and use duplicates of the modified harvester. But the court also flipped the script on Guilford and Lohman's deal. It ruled that shop rights were non-transferable and could not be conveyed to a third party like Lohman. Irrespective of Guilford's arrangement with Lohman, the latter was obligated to compensate Franklin for using the patented modification. This led the court to overturn the district court's initial ruling regarding the possible infringement arising from Guilford and Lohman's leaseback deal. Sending the case back to the lower courts for further review, the court's decision illuminated the complexities of patent law and shop rights providing a new interpretative lens for understanding the extent and limitations of such rights. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.